Hello and welcome back to another GCN indoor training session. Thank you so much for choosing to train with us today. Welcome back if you have done one of our sessions before. Today we've got a nice 30 minute session and we're really going to be working on that low cadence. Now we have lots of sessions on the channel where we work on high cadence, but today we're going to be working on a low cadence, which is a little bit like doing a gym session on a bike I feel that's what I feel like when I do low cadence work on the bike you're really working every single muscle and it can be quite painful so it's going to be 30 minutes of very hard work coming up but at the moment just on the bikes spinning the legs nice and easy so so if you have done these sessions before they are done on perceived exertion <laughs> One being nice and easy. Sorry. Anna's lost it already. Don't worry, folks. Shall we get it back and we'll smash it? If you have done these sessions before, it's done on a perceived exertion. One being nice and easy, like a walk in the park, 10 being max. I'll kind of be working in the middle today. We're going to be working a 7 out of 10 in our efforts. So nothing too, uh, too strenuous, but it's going to be hard. At the moment, I'm going to be sitting at a 3 out of 10, just warming up the legs for another minute and a half. We've got a great team joining us here today. We've got Connor, Maddie, Katie and Morgan. They're going to keep you motivated throughout the session. Make sure to keep on watching them. Look what they're doing. They are pros on the bike, so um, good to get tips off them. And I'm going to be here giving you some motivation, trying to get you through the session as best as we possibly can. Make the most out of every single second of this effort. So we're gonna go into our first effort in just over a minute's time. So it can be five minutes working at seven out of 10 intensity and we want our cadence to be between 50 and 60 RPM. And if you don't know what RPM is, it's revolutions per minute. So it's how many times your pedals or cranks turn within one minute. You want them to turn 50 to 60 times in one minute, which is actually pretty slow. I'd say 50 to 60 is an extremely low cadence. You'd probably do a cadence like that if you were climbing up a mountain or a really steep hill. So that's what we want to try and repli replicate today. So we're going to go into our first effort in 20 seconds. So we want to be in quite a big gear for this, quite a low, resi well, high resistance if you are on a spinning bike. I'm just going to get in my big ring. And in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So seven out of 10, 50 and 60 RPM. Churning those gears. Might take a while to settle in, find your right gear. Just by looking at everybody here, it doesn't look like they're working that hard. That's because their legs are really working. Got a lot of resistance on those pedals. Connor, is low cadence work something that you used to do as a pro? Yeah, it is actually. Mainly towards the start of the training block. After um, stopping racing for the year, had a little bit of a break and then start building back up. And I started some lower, lower cadence efforts in kind of November, start of December. Quite a good way of building some strength. Getting ready for steeper climbs too, steeper sort of efforts in terms of intensity without kind of putting too much of a toll on your aerobic system so you're not having to go up really deep and then quite a good way of getting back into it and also getting used to your position on the bike too um, good way of kind of telling what you might need to change but yeah use it a lot also in terms of sprinting so you do lower cadence stuff to get that strength work you needed to really like push higher numbers and then ramp an effort up so you do this and then finish off with a real max sprint too um, for now it's good to kind of stay 50 60 rpm in this session 
Nice one building that strength. Needed for some serious efforts on the bike. Definitely is. So two minutes down already. Your legs should be really starting to burn now, two minutes into this, sitting at quite an uncomfortable pace, quite an uncomfortable intensity. Definitely starting to feel the burn. You can probably really feel it in your glutes. Might not be as intense as some of the other sessions, but it, you are going to be working just as hard. So we're going to do three blocks of this. We're halfway through our first block now. And two more blocks after this, and I've got a nice, nice bit of rest in the middle for you. So crank yourself off. Now's a good time to focus on your pedaling technique as well and how you hold yourself on the bike, especially when you're under quite a lot of stress, when your muscles are under stress. Good to kind of focus on your position, focus on your pedal stroke, make sure you're pedaling nice and smoothly and efficiently and engage that core. Arms nice and relaxed on the bike. Hold it in a nice position. Engage the glutes, the hamstrings, quads. Pedal all the way through the stroke. Good work. Just a minute and a half to go now in this very first effort. You all doing good so far? Yeah, I am. I mean, my legs are starting to get a bit more fatigued. I think this is what this sort of effort does. It really fatigues your legs, so. I wouldn't do this one too often, especially in race season, because it just makes your legs a bit more slow and tired, but I can definitely feel the fatigue building up now. It is a good one. So get those legs working, fatigue them. You will notice when you get off the bike, your legs will be sore after this session if you do it correctly. But it is a good one to do pre-season if you are racing in the winter. 50 seconds to go now. Keep on pushing all the way through this effort. Remember, we're at that seven out of 10 intensity. Should feel like this is a gym session. Working all those muscles under load. It's not gonna feel easy in this last 30 seconds, but keep pushing through. It's starting to get hot. You still will work up a sweat as well. seconds to go all the way then we'll drop down into a nice easy gear five four three two one and drop it down and now you can spin those legs however fast or slow you'd like so we've got three minutes now of just nice easy pedaling to recover now's a good time to take some fluid on board How was that first one for you, Connor? Look strong? Oh, good, yeah, feels solid. I quite enjoy those efforts, actually. Yeah, they're a bit different, aren't they? I quite like plugging away. Lower cadence. Working all the muscles of the legs. I do remember we used to do it a lot, actually. We used to do an Australian block. I was training for like a month and a half. And I remember one year we got prescribed that in a six hour ride with three 30 minute efforts. In a six hour ride? <laughs> wow. But I felt really good after it. So there's definitely something in it. That's it, if you do this on a six hour ride, two 30 minute blocks of this, you got Connor done. We used to do 50 to 60 RPM for 30 minutes straight. Yeah, wow. three 30 minute blocks. Spicy. Yeah. I don't think I could hold that cable for that long. But you don't really have to think, you just put it in the hardest gear and just the ride. Yeah. Did something. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding. Definitely is. It elevates me from last position to second to last. <laughs> well, that's an improvement anyway, mm. so. A minute and a half left now. Get some fluid on. I always find it really hard to get used to the change in leg speed after you've done a low cadence effort. Yeah. Pedal normally feels really strange. Does. 
So in this next one, I might spice it up a little bit. Maybe we'll go for some out of the saddle in the saddle stuff. Okay. Just to, you know, spice it up a bit. It's good to mix things up now and again. 50 seconds to go now, so we'll do the first minute out the saddle at 50 to 60 RPM. Whole minute out the saddle, then we'll pop back in the saddle. 30 seconds, what, just over 30 seconds now. So you want to get ready. Basically, getting your hardest gear and up that resistance as much as you physically can. Are we ready? First minute, out the saddle. In 10. Got the gun. Huh? I got carried away, I went too early. Oh, calm down, Connor. Three, two, one, let's go. Out the saddle, one minute. This is going to burn. I might have ac accidentally just made this session a little bit harder for us all, but maybe you'll thank me later when you go from last to, not last, like Connor. So, there we go. And this is gonna be working your arms a little bit more as well. Put some strain on the arms. Maybe do some press-ups as well whilst you're down there. Connor likes a few press-ups on the bike. There we go, halfway through this minute out of the saddle. Woo! Fifteen seconds. Ten. Definitely starting to burn now. Maybe I bit off a little bit. Well, then I can chew. Three, two, one, in the saddle. Try and keep the same intensity. Same leg speed, you might need to click up to a tiny bit of an easy gear. So when you get out of the saddle, you can tend to be in a little bit of a harder gear. And then settle back into it. Good work. Looking really strong, composed, flying through the session. At the back end of this session, you'll maybe try to see if you're rocking from side to side when you're getting a bit more fatigued, so try and keep concentrated. Keep concentrating. The indoor trainer is a really good place to focus on position and how you pedal. Right, next minute, let's get out of the saddle again. Sorry, everyone. Here we go. Another minute out of the saddle. It does almost feel like we're climbing, doesn't it? Climbing a massive mountain. Flat mountain. Halfway through. Starting to burn now, but keep on it. Try and stay out the saddle as long as you can. Take a look at all our guests. Look how strong and posed they look on the bike. How efficiently they're pedaling. And in five, four, three, two, one. Back in the saddle, same intensity. Two more minutes after this effort now. Really try and focus. Don't lose concentration. Remember you're at that seven out of 10 intensity, which is quite hard. It's not max. You are working hard. Minute and a half to go now. Looking good. Feel free to mix up your position, your hand position if you have the option. Get in your drops for 30 seconds or your hoods, whatever you feel the most comfortable. But on the indoor trainer, you do kind of end up sitting in the same static position. So it's good to do some efforts out the saddle. 
mix up the position a little bit, stretch your back. Into the last minute now. Keep turning those pedals, keep grinding away. We're nearly there. Only one more block left after this. Looking super strong. Engaging all those muscles. Really working every single muscle in our legs. 30 seconds to go. Should be sweating buckets now. Heart rate should be high. This is not a walk in the park. If you wanted to walk in the park, you've come to the wrong place. We don't do that kind of thing here, unfortunately. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And back to easy riding. Back to that three out of 10. Spin your legs, it's gonna feel a little bit weird going at that high cadence now. Just gonna spin your legs whatever cadence feels comfortable to you. Woo. How was that one, everybody? Good, yeah, starting to get a bit of sweat on. It's reminding me of when I picked this bike I'm riding up, actually. Um, lucky to get brand new a couple of weeks ago, and I thought the battery was charged when I picked it up and it wasn't oh. on the gears, so I had to uh, ride at home in quite a, quite a big gear up a hill. How did that go for you? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, good training though. Good training, so it's got me ready for this session. Yeah, well, silver lining. You're one step ahead. I did have to run some sections. Really? Yeah. Oh. But I, I, I'm okay at running, so. Are you? Are you a bit of a runner? I like to run. Oh. But what kind of... I'm not very good. What kind of distances? Five kilometers maximum. Well, what's, what's your best time for 5K? I went for a run with one of our cameramen here today, actually, and he absolutely destroyed me. So. Did he? You're not going to reveal your time? I don't know. I think it's about half an hour. Half an hour? That's not bad. That's not bad. Room for improvement. You thought because oh. you got quite long legs that you'd be quite. I just wasted a lot of time ducking uh, branches. Yeah, oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> just get on the running track, no branches there. That's true. I'll just end up playing the sandpit though. Building some sandcastles. <laughs> That's what Connor likes to do in his spare time, playing the sandpit. Everybody has you know, hobbies apart from bikes. That's Connor's. <laughs> we have got 53 seconds left of this rest before we go into our next one. Into our last one, actually, which is exciting. Flying through it. Our last one already? Our last one, yeah. Three. No way. I'm pretty sure I've done the maths right. We'll soon find out. But I'm pretty sure. Top tip for this last one, Connor. We're flying through it. I mean, it's been good company. Thanks, everyone. Uh, I think you just keep keep the form, keep the cadence, try and follow us along at home with our yeah. leg speed. Stay on track, keep strong, push on if you can. Give good. it our best. If you're feeling good, why not go to an 8 out of 10? I'm not sure I'm feeling that good today. Legs are quite sore. But I'll give it a good go. Are we ready? In six, five, four, three, two. One, let's jump out the saddle again for this next minute. Oh. Starting off Frool. on a high. One minute out of the saddle to really get those legs burning. Here we go. Good work. Let's get on top of it. Get that cadence just right. Around that 50 to 60 marker. Thirty seconds down. Thirty more seconds out the saddle. Looking good. Looking strong. Those legs should be burning. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Let's get back in the saddle. Click down just one gear. Then get into it again. 50 to 60. Seven out of 10. Engage all those muscles, strong core. Now that we're into that, this last block, you might be getting a bit fatigued, a bit tired. You might start, you know, rocking from side to side, trying to eke out all that power from your legs. Your core might not be engaged. So you just kind of need to reset, take a minute. Go through all your little checkpoints. Nice relaxed grip on the bars. Shoulders and arms nice and relaxed. Engage that core. Sit nicely on the saddle. Engage all those muscles. One pedal stroke at a time. Three minutes to go now. Keep on pushing. Good work. This is good if you're feeling good. Take it up a notch. You go to eight, nine out of 10 effort level. There we go. Nearly halfway through this block. Good work everyone, looking strong, looking composed. Everything out. This is a really good session to do if you want to work on your cadence, work on that lower grindy cadence. So you might need for climbing or sprinting or time trialing. Or you just need to kind of stick to that same intensity for five minutes. All right, let's jump out the saddle again. Another one minute. Here we go. Nice. If you're not used to being out the saddle, it's a good place to practice on the indoor bike. Left, right, left, right. Find your own rhythm, stick to it. Here we go. Starting to burn. For me, I can do 30 seconds out the saddle and then that last 30 seconds really does burn. Just a little bit out of my comfort zone. Keep pushing. All the way through now, come on. So close to the finish. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Back in the saddle for the last minute. Come on. Up, up, up. We've got this. Take all the way to the finish. Let's finish on a high. Good work. Thirty-three seconds to go now. Nearly there. Legs are going to be sore after this. Good work. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. We're nearly there. Come on. Keep on top of it. Last ten seconds. We can do it. Come on. Up, up, up. Five. Four, three, two, one, and get in your granny ring. Nice easy gear. A nice long cool down now. Well, we can really shake off those legs. They've worked very hard today. So take this time to cool down properly. Cool down is very important. Spin the legs and refuel. How did we find that? Yeah, I felt better as it went on actually. Yeah. I really started to feel my glutes engaged in the last one. I was able to push through on each pedal stroke. And managed to up the watts as well a bit on the last five minutes. Oh, good work, Connor. Yeah, I feel good about myself. That's good, I'm glad. Thank you, Anna. Thanks for the session, no, I really enjoyed that one. At the back, how are we feeling? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yay, big thumbs up. Maddie, how was it? 
I quite enjoyed that one actually. I think it's a bit deceiving effort because you've got so many other aspects to think about at the time, like your cadence and your core and the foot position and stuff. That actually the fatigue hits you after you've finished. It so does. it's just after the effort when you feel the impact of the whole effort. So it's now that you're suffering and you're feeling the aftermath. But I think that's why I enjoy it. That's good. Just love the pain. But yeah, it is after when you stop, your legs hurt. My legs are definitely going to be very sore after that session tomorrow morning when I wake up. But it was a good, good session to get done. And I just spin the legs nice and easy. Around a three out of ten, just keep them turning a little bit of pressure on the pedals, not too much. But a nice cool down. This is going to help the legs when you wake up tomorrow. Try and make them a little bit less sore than if you didn't cool down. Four more minutes of cool down. What's your favourite session, Connor, to do on the bike? If you had to pick any kind of session, if it was just, you know, you and your own time, what would you choose? Favourite session? In terms of improving my fitness or just enjoyment? Just, you know, you, when you fancy getting on the, on the bike for a bit of a workout, what's your go-to? I'd normally go to something like 20 to 25 minutes long. Nice. Just short and sharp. Yeah. Um, you feel a bit better after it. It's nice to get out there, yeah. get a quick blast in on the trainer, and get the endorphins flowing, and make the most of the time available because it is quite short these days. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't get much time to train, but you'd be surprised what you can do in 20, 25 minutes, whether that's on the indoor trainer or if you just head out for a quick spin. But no matter how long or short, you will definitely feel better after doing something. Doesn't no matter what it is getting something done, having a little bit of you time on the bike, it clears your mind as well. It's good for the soul. enjoy this session then please let me know down in that comment section below and whilst you're down there why don't you just drop a suggestion what your favorite session is and maybe we can make it happen here on GCN we'd love to have your thoughts on the sessions and what you'd like to see more or less of if you want to see more Hank less Hank more Connor whoop, whoop. we'll listen <laughs> What's your number one tip for a beginner coming and doing indoor sessions like this? What tips would you give them? I think we say quite a lot, but a fan or like getting some ventilation in the room because you do sweat so much and it gets so hot when you're riding on a static trainer that it can hit you within 10 minutes and yeah. it just reduces your ability to put the power down. So definitely try and keep yourself cool um, and also just keep drinking, not just water, but some form of electrolytes in your fluids um, to replace what you're losing through your sweat. Otherwise you can really surprise yourself in a 20-30 minute session, you get off and it's like you've been riding in the desert. Yeah. The heat, your body heat's risen so, risen so much and you can really dehydrate yourself and have a banging headache. So keep on top of your fluid intake and you'll be, uh, you'll be, you'll be grand afterwards. Mm. And I'd also say maybe learning what your perceived exertions are and how long you can maybe hold 10 out of 10 for, or eight out of 10. So kind of giving yourself a few sessions um, on the indoor trainer to kind of learn how it all works. You know, don't be too harsh on yourself in the first few sessions if you can't complete them all. But you will learn very quickly and we're here to help you out. If you have any questions about any of the sessions then please drop them down in that comment section and we'll do our very best to try and answer them. But we're coming towards the end of this call down now. Thank you so much for joining us today and choosing to ride and train with us. It's been a pleasure to have you along and thank you to all my wonderful guests for sweating it out and grinding it out on the indoor trainer with us today.
go make sure to give this video a big like if you did enjoy and we'll see you in the next one